Okay. Yeah, I started recording. Okay, <coughs> we're gonna talk about scary stories. Okay, okay, who wants to go first? Anyone? <laughs> Is anyone out there? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not three times. I just didn't get to the It's gonna be a major fail. <laughs> we didn't think this would be a real Okay, here we go. Okay. Do you wanna go first or should I? Um I don't know which one. Like the <laughs> which one I don't want. <laughs> okay. So this one time <laughs> my brother, he he's not home most of the time when he lived here. So I just kind of took it as he gave me his room. So I was chilling in his room and I was doing my homework on the bed. Oh, I remember and that one. By the time I had moved in a couple of things, you know, my backpack was, <laughs> was in there, you know, my hair stuff was in there. And so I kind of already made it my room. And I remember having like my hair dryer, like in between like a mueble and a wall so it's like this much space and i remember like jamming the box in there because i was too lazy to find a new spot for it so i kind of like just jammed it in there and it had been there for weeks i don't really use the hair dryer and i remember like one night i was doing my homework it was still inside the box huh? it was still it was everything like the hair was dryer in the, in the box and the box was shoved in there in between the wall and then the the mueble because we, we had like a tall like like, what is that called? It's almost like a vanity looking thing, but the big one. The the one that has course. like the big thing and then the drawers Like a underneath. big mirror and like the yeah. big sides. Uh -huh. And so it was like jammed in there. And I remember I was doing my homework and like this box, like from my peripheral vision, like I was like down here doing my homework and the box just went boom and like it like hit the floor like really loud. And I remember every time like I get scared, my dad has always told us like, don't pay attention to it because mm -hmm. the, the worst thing you can do is pay attention because they feed off of your fear. So I was like, oh, I got homework to do. So I was kind of like trying not to be. I was scared, but I was like, no, like, and it I fell. Was, yeah. like, I was like, oh, like, whatever, it fell. But I didn't get scared until Sandra came in. She was <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, let me. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you my side of this story because she was in the room that's right next to my room essentially like there's like the living room in between but I was in my room and I don't know what I was doing I think I was cleaning or something like that but I heard the box fall and I thought that she was like already in bed or something like that so I don't know like I you know I usually we hear things fall this is not that but for some reason I was like I'm gonna go see I'm gonna go see what it is so I walked over there and I opened the door and then I told Jessica, like, what happened? You know, I don't know. I forgot exactly what I asked her, but I opened the door and I saw Jessica on the bed doing her homework. And I asked her that and I looked down and I see the box of the hair dryer on the floor. And I look at the box and I look at Jessica and then I, mm -hmm. it must have clicked like, oh, shit. But <laughs> yeah, because like at the time, like I kind of didn't want to pay attention because like, you know, like I was like, it fell like, you know, and. Like, you know, it just fell, but then it hit me, like, like, you know, like, how is it that it fell and it went across the room? Like, you know, it doesn't have wheels, like, you know, like, it it literally, like, flew from my peripheral vision. And like I said, this box was jammed in there. Like, it, yeah. there's no way, like, it could have just, like, propped out or anything. Like, yeah. It was just so weird how it just, like, shot across. And mind you, I didn't want to pay attention to it because, like, my dad said, like, just don't pay attention to it. But then when she had walked into my room and started asking questions, like... It kind of like, cause it was loud. Yeah, I was like, was loud, I was yeah. in my room minding my business, just do my thing. Yeah. And then I heard that, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, like in my head, I'm like, she's already in bed asleep. Like, what's going on? And that's when I walked over. But when I saw the box on the floor, cause I knew where she kept it, mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, she's like, flat on her belly, doing homework, and this freaking box is in the middle of the room, and I heard the box fall, but. I'm but like, movie, and we're both like, looking at each other like, <laughs> I just like, did that really happen. <laughs> After that, like, I just like, we booked it out the room. <laughs> she we got just so at the bed. Like, we just <laughs> zoom. <laughs> we were out of there. Yeah, that was crazy. That so was that, crazy. that was one of the ones that 
that I always remember about. Yeah. When I see my hair dryer, I always remember like when it just used to have it. Oh. <laughs> Imagine Nicole suffering. <laughs> she just throws her crap. <laughs> you said something. <laughs> oh my god. That's one of the ones. Okay, my turn. Now, I haven't had very many supernatural experiences per se because I'm a good girl and shit. Mm -hmm, <laughs> you know, true. bad energy stays away <laughs> from good energy. But, anyways, this one time I was in the house. Any okay. <laughs> no. Don't, don't no. Opposite <laughs> so, so Don't put that juju on. <laughs> anyways. Okay. So <clears throat> I was I was home by myself. I think it was like around midday or something like that. Jessica was in school and my parents were at work and That was my foot. Oh yeah. Just keep going knock that light over. Any who okay, so. So I was I was asleep. I was taking a nap on my bed. And I don't know why, like I think it must be like a self soothing thing that I like sleep like this. But this time I was asleep like I was gonna say uh okay so i was sleeping on my belly and i would had my hands like this and then um i started feeling like i was coming out of my dream like i was starting to wake up and then i felt like almost like someone stepped on the side of me on the bed like you know when, when you feel that pressure like mm -hmm. going down like when you're laying down and someone sits on your bed and you kind of shift mm -hmm. to that side. yeah so i felt that on one side of me and then i felt it on the other side of me and in my head i was like oh shit someone broke in so I'm like, okay, like, you know, my my survival instincts were kicking in and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna turn around right now and that's it, I'm gonna fight for my life, you know, like, yeah. and then, you know, so I'm feeling the pressure of these two, what I, in my head, was thinking were feet. And then when I went to, like, start doing what I was gonna do, I couldn't move. And that's when I was like, this shit is Just not, th yeah, this shit, is, this is not a person that broke in. Uh -huh. And then when that thought came to my head, I felt like, like, hands go on my back. Mm -hmm. And then I got pushed into the bed like three times, but it was weird. It was like one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And then when I felt that, I was like, I remembered another thing that my dad told us yeah. is that you got to pray and you got to cuss them out. So I was like, you know, like praying like, sweet baby Jesus. Da -da -da -da. And I was like, get mm -hmm. the fuck out of here. Like, you don't, you don't need to be here. Like, da 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 da. Yeah. And it was so weird because you would think that after something like that happens to you that you're like oh shit you know as soon as it's over you're like out of the bed and you're running out of the house but i just felt like this overwhelming like just tiredness come over me and i just was like you know i just remember like you know praying and saying whatever i was gonna say and then i just felt like <sighs> and then i knocked out and then when i woke up when i woke up i like jumped out of the bed I and remember. i yeah mm -hmm. i ran outside and i called my brother because he's like, a lot of shit has happened to him. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, dude. I feel like he's number one in shit that's happened. I'm number two and you're number three. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, if it was something like that, I'm, you know, like, I've told a lot of people and it's kind of like, you know, you hear about, like, sleep paralysis and, like, people tell me, like, maybe you dreamed it mm -hmm. or, you know, and who knows? I mean, I'm no expert. Maybe I did, but I had never had an experience like that. Haven't had it since. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't like me. Just knock twice. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I've never had anything happen to me like that. And even when I woke up, I was like, when I did wake up, I was like, oh, shit. Like, that really happened to me. And I called my brother and I told him. And he's like, well, all you can do, you know, he just pretty much reiterated what my dad, what I told you guys that my dad said. Yeah. But even with that stuff, I feel like, you know, I feel like the people who haven't experienced it are the ones that are like, maybe it's a dream because, you know, like, you know, like. I've had dreams and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but it, it's different. Like, yeah. I can't explain it to you until you experience mm -hmm. it yourself, but it's different. Yeah. Because, like, you know, like, she had that, like, you know, I think it was that one, it's like, right? Like, Did you that didn't happen have any... Yeah, I've never, I've never had any, like... Sleep. I would get, like, you know, like, on my back, like, being pushed down. Like, they would sink me into the bed. And this was when my brother had recently moved out, and I moved into his room. So, in my head, I'm like, you got the wrong guy, like... <laughs> This this will send Chino now. He's like, I can write you the address. Like, I can't <laughs> get his ass. But <laughs> within like the first month that I had made that room officially my room, like, it it was like kind of like the worst of it. So like you know, I'd fall asleep, and like you know, you like I can tell when I'm asleep and when I'm like starting to fall asleep. But I would be in deep sleeps, 
and then like I could like feel myself start to wake up and then like I just start feeling like you know like this pressure slowly like sinking me in and again like you can't move during this so it's yeah. not like I could just be like oh, like stop yeah so like I would literally be awake like just feeling myself sink into my like bed and then just waiting for it to release like mm -hmm. I did my like you know like the praying and cussing praying and cussing but it's like up to whatever it is to release like you know like you can't really just like the minute you start praying it doesn't release like you have to continuously do it until it releases right yeah. but like you know like I never had like the tiredness after like yeah. I was more like like I couldn't sleep after that like I'd be like so scared like because that's I, what I thought I was gonna feel like like really yeah. scared because you know I've heard stories and stuff like that and like I said I I'm not one that like things like these happen too often that's that's probably I think that would that would be my most supernatural experience that I would have to give. But yeah, I was like I would think that I would be like, ah oh, shit, but no, like mm -hmm. and it felt different. Like I'm telling you, like, you know, like if I fell asleep, then I would have been like, Oh yeah, but no, I felt it. Like I felt like the <sighs> like almost like 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 something like shutting off. Oh, like sh okay. like shutting off, you know, like Yeah, well even like I think I feel like it would be hard to explain you going even into like panic mode, like when you thought someone broke in. Like you can't. I feel like you can't have that when feeling it, when you oh, fall asleep. Right, right, yeah. Like when you're asleep. Oh yeah. Like yeah. when you go into your fight or flight. Like uh -huh. that. That doesn't happen in your yeah. sleep. Like that happens when you're like really in danger. Yeah. No. And I'm telling you, I was like, I was already making a plan. I was like, okay, like, I'm gonna turn around and that's it. Like I'm just gonna fight for you know. I'm gonna just do whatever I can, and I even like. I like did like a little and then when I felt like I couldn't move I was like oh fuck mm -hmm. like the thought immediately came to me I'm like oh shit this is not this isn't human mm -hmm. and I was like you know this this is better <laughs> I'll take that <laughs> over somebody up in here yeah rude. I'm in the middle of a scary <laughs> story Seuss. you keep guard bark if anything pops off <laughs> Anyway, so I had gone to AutoZone and I bought like a bunch of stuff to clean my car because I'm like, this is it. Like, I'm going to keep my shit clean. Tired of driving around in this fucking bucket. <laughs> in this fucking pool of dirt and shit. So, you know, I bought my stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Came home, opened the door, walked into the kitchen and I'm setting the stuff. Damn. <laughs> Which is Literally. Yeah, so... I walk into the kitchen and I'm setting the stuff down on the table and you know I'm setting it down and looking down and I see like from the from our hallway from like the restroom hallway going into the kitchen I see a shadow come around and it was like the size and the shape of like my mom and I was even like oh hi mom like you know like I was like I already had like I was already thinking like like you know like asking her like oh I, you're home early from work you know but I was like what oh, you know and then when I like look up and there was nothing there I was like Oh hell no! So I yeah, oh, I literally sure uh huh. <laughs> I walked outside of the house and again I called my brother. I was like, "Hey, so what do you do for a spirit?" <laughs> yeah, like come get your homies because yeah. this shit ain't fun. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's sad, but honestly, he's the one that went through it the most, and so yeah. I mean, like when I moved into his room, there was already a whole bottle of like holy water in there for me, and I was like, "Bet." <laughs> 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 And you know what's funny is when we first moved into the house, my parents had the house blessed. So you weren't you weren't alive. <laughs> you weren't alive for this. But I remember we were like we were here and then this guy shows up and it was a bother. He showed up and he's like <laughs> just a random guy. I no, like, no, no, no. <laughs> like he, I was just like who's this dude up here? Especially because he wasn't all like in his, you know, in the church fits. <laughs> He was in his pulpit. He was in his fresh press. <laughs> no, so he came here and then they like did the blessing of the house and this isn't that. That fucking scared me. Oh, <laughs> the chickens and roosters. Like a yell. I was like. Oh, okay. It's 55. 55. You know, you know what's so weird? Okay, I'm going to tell you another story. Okay, so growing up, I used to have a lot of nightmares. Like, it was like a fear, not like no. We all had the, it was me and you. You had that. Well, we, let me. We didn't know what we feared. Yes, yes. Okay, and that so. was even scarier because mm -hmm. we didn't know. Like so, yeah. So it was <sighs> nightmares and fear of going to sleep. And I don't know how many people have. It's it's a rooster. Chickens don't make that noise. Chicken. Either way, I don't give a fuck. Thank you. Shut up. 
but um anyway so the story <laughs> that i'm telling you has to do with that okay so i used to be so freaking scared to go to sleep and i did have some nightmares and it wasn't nightmares like oh shit i got lost no like dark nightmares like you know like i knew that this was the devil like you know shit like that and so i used to be afraid of going to sleep and then I, of course i would go crying to my parents room and tell them like i can't sleep like i would oh i'm sure I'm, oh yeah you did i remember now mm -hmm. yeah because you used to do that to me i used to go wake my parents up and just tell them like i by this time i was already crying because i would try to calm myself down and i would be crying and telling them like i can't go to sleep and my dad he's like why you know and i would tell him like i'm scared and he would be like what are you scared of and I, and I would be like, I don't know. And he's like, yeah. what do you mean you don't know? I'm like, I don't know, but yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> so anyways, it was the highlight of my night when they would let me sleep on the floor. Like, mm -hmm. they were like, fine. You know, even like the your presence blankets. of oh. anybody in that same room was just like a sweet relief. Yeah. Like, you know, like it was just like a heavy weight off your shoulder. Mm -hmm. I kid you. And when they would let me sleep in the bed, oh, Lord, I was just yeah. like... <sighs> yeah like, like literally out. you felt like you were sleeping in heaven like you yeah. know like with god like at your side watching over you because like i would just like hit like the bed with my parents and like instantly just yeah, sleep knock like, out that's it. yeah but yeah so yeah you're right but yeah so i used to have that fear and the reason i'm like i even bring this up is because i when i would hear a rooster do their their little cockadoodle do <laughs> I would be happy because I knew that the sun was almost out. Yeah. That was that and would like, be that's fucking where it would crazy. End. Yeah. Yeah, like I was like mm -hmm. okay, the night's almost over. And yeah. it's crazy because like I I kid you not, like that probably stopped until I was like probably like started getting into my teens, but it mm -hmm. was bad. Like they used to make fun of me, like, you know, like, oh you're like ten years old and you still sleep. Yeah, my mom would love to put it. You're not gonna do nothing. <laughs> Get your ass up, security. Let's like, go, on, man. Oh, you better not start barking in here, though. He's like, "What, well, dude? You want me to <laughs> do something?" <laughs> in Anyways, but yeah, like I remember this because I remember she would get mad when I would start crying because, like, I was just scared and I couldn't explain it. And my parents would instantly relate it to like, "That's why you can't watch scary yes. movies." And it's like, okay, I have nightmares of like Chucky, but like, it's like. What is the boy? You better not. Report. Give not me a today, report. Satan. Oh, he's going to mess it up. It's fine. <laughs> but, like, you know, like, I would just, like, it's not the scary movies because I wouldn't necessarily dream of the scary movies. It was, it was nightmares. Most I can't remember. But, you know, the, like, predominant ones were, like, kidnapping or, like, whatever. But it's, like, there's just also other stuff where it would be, like, a presence that I would sense that I didn't know what it was. Like, I can't paint you a picture even if I was like the best artist like I can't paint you a picture of it but it's like I would sense a presence and like I would even ask her like hey like throw your arm over yeah. me throw your leg over mm -hmm. me I'm like I just need to feel something so that I can go to sleep yeah and, you know it, it was like that's what made it like 10 times scary is like I didn't know what it was like we didn't know what exactly we were scared of mm -hmm. so when my parents would ask they'd get more frustrated with us because we couldn't tell yeah. them like Oh, I'm scared of this. I'm scared of this. Yeah. Like, it wasn't the dark either, because you know, I don't. Yeah, I mean, you know. I don't. I um, I honestly like I don't even know. Could it have been the dark? Could it have been? I I have no idea what it could have possibly been. But yeah. honestly, I I couldn't tell you what it is. All I know is that I have never. I haven't felt like that since. And even like when you were going through it, I was like. I, it didn't even occur to me, like you know, like that it was what you had. Gone yeah, through. exactly. All I, cause you know, like you're up all night. Well, I mean, I don't. I. It's even hard to think that I would couldn't go to sleep, but you're up mm -hmm. and you just like when you reach like that point that you're like, okay, like not for real. Cause there's some nights that I could sleep. Obviously, it's not like I didn't sleep for days, but you know, there were some bad nights, pretty much. And you get to the point where you're like, all right, no, like I need help, and so you go ask for help. You know, you tell your parents or whatever. And by that time, like, they're dead asleep. So the last thing they want to hear is, you know, you... Like, waking them up. Yeah, mom. like, mom, mom, I can't sleep, you know? Mm -hmm. And then they're just like, that's what you get for watching da 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 like, How many times I got to tell yeah. you? Like, yeah. And, but you know what? I think, like, that was, like, that, that made it worse for us because then that instilled another fear. Like, 
okay, I can't watch that or else I am going to get, you know, like a nightmare. I can't mm -hmm. sleep. Even though like and when you're when I was going through it, like there was no connection. It wasn't like I was thinking about that movie or mm -hmm. like, oh, shit, you know, like it was yeah. just weird. Yeah, because I, I mean, we didn't. Well, for me, like I didn't even get to watch scary movies until like. Mm -hmm. Not like not when I had the choice of like yeah like seeing the movie so yeah. it's not like but back to the scary stories because these are just like not being able to sleep mm -hmm. one of the ones that my mom told me regarding you I don't know if you remember it or not was when Jessica was little she was like a toddler she used to sleep in bed with my parents and um, Jessica woke my mom up like sometime in the night she woke her up and she's like mom mom. She's like, and she told my mom, like, Can't, don't let that lady take me. And my mom was like, like, she, she was like, what lady? Mm -hmm. And then Jessica pointed at the feet of the bed and she's like, that lady. And then obviously my mom didn't see anything, but my mom, bless her soul. She was so brave. <laughs> she's like, well, I didn't want to act like, well, I didn't want to act. Well, I didn't want to like be like, what lady you know yeah. like i don't see anybody so she just said that she just covered you up and she just like oh because you were asking her to cover your feet she's like can you cover my feet like don't let that lady take me and so my mom was like she's like when you pointed at the feet of the bed she didn't see anything she's like okay so she like covered your feet and she was just like she's like she just you know said out loud again like i don't know who you are but leave my daughter alone you can't be here go back to where you came from but da, 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 you know mm -hmm. the whole spiel but i don't remember this yeah I and then they told me story. i was gonna be roomies with her i'm like if she comes up <laughs> that here, bitch <laughs> you can put her in my room possessed bitch <laughs> <laughs> i was like i'm gonna tell you so i'm gonna be straight up with you mom if she starts telling me somebody's here for her i'm gonna turn the lights on and be like which one i don't <laughs> see nobody i don't see nobody up in here yeah, with you. your crazy ass go to your mom <laughs> <laughs> I got my own shit I'm trying to deal with <laughs> to be dealing with those too. <laughs> no, but like I do remember like I would see my grand my grandpa when I was younger. Like, you know, like my mom would tell me that I would talk to him and yeah. she knew I, w I was talking to him because, uh -huh. you know, I'd call him by his name. Yeah. And so like that didn't really scare her, but I, I never heard this story of like Yeah. But it sounds familiar. I kid you not, it sounds familiar. I'm I'm pretty sure I told it to you before, but I feel but. like I've heard it in other contexts, like you know, like a lady just going around, like you know, but that's probably like like you're on a type. Oh, dude. <laughs> irrelevant. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, no, but I think that one, and then just just like you know, so you can kind of get like an idea of like how, like, it would happen to my brother and not to me. There was this one time that it was my brother, my cousin, and me. We were in my room and my old room and um still part of this house uh and we were getting ready to go out and my brother was laying on my bed and at that time my bed was close to my closet so he was laying on my bed and he's talking to my cousin so they're facing each other and i'm looking in the mirror because we were getting ready and you know and i hear them talking in the background da -da 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 -da, and then they go quiet and then I'll, next thing I know, my brother's getting out of the bed like really fast and he's like going like this. He's like, oh shit. And then I turn around and I'm like, what happened? And then my cousin was like, like my cousin, her eyes were like wide eyed. And then my brother's like, did you see that? And she's like, well, what was that? And then he's like, well, what did you see? And then my cousin said that she saw and okay, like I didn't see it. I was in the room, but like you couldn't fake the reactions. But she said she saw like a dark, like just like, like a shadow. She said she just saw a shadow coming like, from like the direction of the closet and it just crept up over my brother's shoulder and he had a chain at that time so mm -hmm. he had a chain and like it moved his chain and that's when my brother just you know yeah, that's when he it. saw and felt it and he got up out of bed like that thinking it was you know i don't know what he thought it was but yeah. but he was like like what the hell you saw it coming and you didn't tell me and she's like what well, i just saw a shadow like and that shit was scary and i'm like yeah. and i'm just in the room like <laughs> So what's up? We going? <laughs> so uh, I'm like, y'all up to no good because he's he's after you. <laughs> you can't go out. You ain't no bad juju with us. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what kind of energy you got, but you got to keep but, it in your room. Yeah, and also like other things that would happen is pulling at the feet. You've had that. Yeah, oh, I've had I, that I, I because 
I for right now that you said that you know his feet were kind of towards like the closet. Uh huh. Like I remember, like and it's this whole thing, you know how everyone. Well, I didn't say anything about his feet towards the closet, but he was laying across okay. my bed. Well, uh-huh. it kind of reminded me of. That oh, okay, okay, thing. okay, okay. But like, everyone kind of has this thing where it's like if your legs aren't covered or if it's hanging off the bed, like you know how they they always have like they scared that something's gonna grab them. Well, I I was like a weirdo about that stuff, so I always made sure my legs were tucked like. Summer nights, I had a blanket. Like, you know, I could, I couldn't be without my feet not covered. And so I remember, like, this one time, it was, like, way too hot. Even, like, for me being scared, I was like, whatever. Like, I, like, <laughs> Take me. I, like and I said, demons, like, I don't It can't be hotter in hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit, forward my mouth to hell because this shit. <laughs> no, it was, like, really hot. So I, it was, like, one of the first few nights where I was like, okay, like, no blanket. And so I remember, like, being, like, just, like, laid across my bed. And, like, I had the habit of crossing my legs like this when I sleep. So I, I was just, like, asleep with my legs extended and they were crossed. Mm. So I'm, like, laying on my belly mm. and my legs are kind of, like, crossed. And mm. they're, like, like kind of, like, pointed, like, flat. And so and I like, sleep with my arms Yeah, crossed. and I do that, too, but my arms fall asleep really bad and I get scared. Yeah. But, like, like, they were, like, I was just laying like that. And, like, you kind of, like, slowly start to feel, like, hands, like... Even when you would get, like, your back pushed or you would get anything pushed, like, you slowly start to feel that presence. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Like, I never you, had that like, happen. even with the legs, like, you said, you, oh, like, like the it dipping. slowly oh, starts, like, okay. kind of, like, putting its full uh, weight. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so I, I was kind of feeling holding, it. holding, I'm like, oh. <laughs> but it was, like, in my head, I pictured, like, oh, like, the blanket sliding off and it's gliding across my feet and mm-hmm. it's just going to fall. But then, like, when I started feeling, like, like... My face was like obviously like on the pillow, and then I started feeling like the, like Shut the kind of like the dragging, God. like I'm getting chills. But like you know, like I would kind of like I kind of felt it, and once I realized I was moving, like I kind of like jolted and like I pulled my feet, and like you can feel like kind of like a stop, like from Shut like the, the like my feet, like you know, like it kind of like, like when you pull something hard and it slips from their fingers, like because like I moved fast, like I was like oh my gosh, and like I kind of like felt like. The, like not grip loosen because it, it didn't really have a grip yeah but it was like i just felt it kind of like i was just like sliding and then i realized and i like pulled and like like just like i could like feel my feet oh. kind of like slip out of like whatever it is like their hands like i don't know and like obviously claws. there was nobody in the room <laughs> <laughs> but like obviously like my first instinct instinct is like like someone's fucking like someone's fucking with me. Like I was either expecting to see you or Junior or somebody like yeah. trying to like uh-huh. scare me. And so I was kinda like, you know, like like <laughs> like who's messing mm-hmm. with me? But it's like this was like one of the many naps I would take during the day. Oh, so sorry, it wasn't sorry. nighttime, so I can clearly see. Like, you know, I would I like got up so fast and I was like kinda looking around and I was like like I didn't know what the heck was going on. So like after that, like I was kinda like, yeah, like no That's more naps in that room. Crazy. Yeah, but it was, it's crazy because like just like that sense of like you just start to feel the presence slowly, yeah. and you're like fuck, like yeah. I'm fucked for the next like one minute, like because it, it like you feel like it goes on for a while, but yeah. it, it happens within a couple, yeah, like a couple seconds, couple minutes, like damn, it's, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, and it like and other times it wasn't like that was like the scariest one that I had with like leg pulling. Mm-hmm. But there was just times where it would just be like, like mm. a quick like boom, uh-huh. and it was like, like you know. Then I like that's why I like I think that's why I sleep in like fetal position just to keep all like. I know, I know. It's like a, it's almost like a self comfort. Like okay, like yeah. I'm here and like I, that's like, how I was in the together. womb. Yeah, and, and going to change because it's like all your extremities are like close to you, yeah. so nothing can really tug at you. But, but it's something like, that I like tell people like when I tell this like you know when I tell them and like. Like, oh, they'll ask me, like, you know, like, what the fuck? Like, oh, if, you know, that was weird. Like, how come you weren't that scared or whatever? Mm-hmm. It's, I feel like you're so not even thinking about that, that it doesn't even come to your head until it does. And then you're mm-hmm. like, but by that time, it's, already it's over. Like, yeah. yeah. And you can't do anything but tell the story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel and like. sound crazy. A lot of my friends, like, think, like, my house is, like, possessed or something. But it's, yeah, like. my friends do. It's, like, yeah, well. Do not get a mini for spying with me. <laughs> I don't have to clean. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> no, but it's like you know, I, I've never had it where somebody else experiences it in our house. Like you know, because it doesn't happen like super. I think often. I think Cynthia did. Well, because she lived here at one oh, point. Oh yeah, she did. So she I, did. I think it's where she lives here. Yeah, because she was here for a while. Yeah, 
Yeah. What but did Cynthia feel? She knows she saw well, aside from seeing the shadow with um with Junior, she said she had seen another shadow. And I mean I this was so long ago that I don't even know if I would, if I tell the story I'd probably get it all fucked up. But I think she just saw a shadow and she saw like she said she made out like the shape of a woman. Oh yeah, yeah I know it was that was related to my brother too, like the woman mm-hmm. and my uncle who lives behind us, like he would also see a woman. Okay, I don't want to get too much, like, too into specifics. Oh. Yeah, just because it's... I don't well, know. I don't want to attract anything or whatever. The one common thing was her, but, like, I think she left when both my brother and my uncle got better in terms of, like, their life situations. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But I think, like, I think the story that tops it all, and it's unfortunate because, like, it'd be cool if Junior could give you guys the story... Mm-hmm. It's the time that, like, even my mom, like, woke up and she was like, do you remember that? Like, we're, um, so, like, we're in the living room right now. Oh. Over this way is my my parents' old room where they used to sleep. Then my brother's room is, like, off to this side. And we're in the living room situation. So, it was, like, night, night, early, super early morning, like, around, we'll say, like, probably anywhere from 11 p.m. in between to, like, 5 a.m. around that time. So my mom says she heard like like someone typing on the computer because we used to have the computer out in the living room and she just heard that. And so she was like, oh, they're probably on the computer, you know, it was like my space days, you know, she's like, you know, I told them to go to sleep. Da, da, da. Anyway, so she, in her head, she's like, I'm going to get up really quietly and I'm going to catch whoever's on the computer right now. So she got out, she got out of the bed and she like, you know, she's like, I made sure to be careful. She got out of the bed. She was hearing the typing. And then she opened the door quick and there was no one there. The computer was off. And she's like, and she's just like, oh, that was weird. She's like, well, I'm going to use the restroom since I'm operating. So to go to the restroom, you walk that way and you go past my brother's old room. So she went to the restroom, used the restroom, came back out. And she's like, I'm just going to check up on Junior. So she goes and she goes to open the door, but the door is locked. And she's like, she's like, oh, he's got his door locked. And then she goes back into her room and she goes to sleep. Well, the next morning when my brother and my mom were talking, he told her like, mom, like, you know, like I had like a crazy experience last night, you know, like he was laying in bed and then he felt like the weight come over him. And he's had that, you know, what is called like the sleep paralysis. Like he had that multiple times, but he like had felt like, you know, like the presence and like felt hands and felt, you know, like specifics. And so that night, like, he had felt something crazy. And I can't remember. Do you remember exactly what it was he felt that night? I think... Didn't he have his blanket pulled over him? I don't know. I can't... I don't remember specifically because it was so long ago that he told us this. Yeah. But anyways, the crazy part is that my mom was like, you know, like, around what time was that? And when they were talking, they came to the conclusion that it was around the same time. And my mom's like... She's like, she went off on him, Mexican parents. Like, if you, if anything bad happens to you, it's your fault. Yeah, you Mm -hmm. fucked up. So she went off on him. She's like, this is why I tell you to leave your door unlocked. Mm -hmm. You know, I was up at that time. Like, you know, you know, like I could have helped you. I could have gone in there. Because he said whatever it was, it was bad enough that he was trying to yell for her. Like, you know, for anyone to come help him. But he couldn't. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. And, um... And yeah, she was like, well, God sent me, but you had your door locked. So keep yeah. sleeping with your door locked. Yeah. yeah. That's like, it's always, it's always like, you can't tell them anything that happens to you because it always ends up being involved. Yeah. But it's yeah. like, you know, that's, that's crazy. Like the whole, like she heard like sounds yeah. like. But the crazy thing is like, this is, I always like to think of that story. Like, you know, like, yeah, I think maybe like the angels were calling okay, her, like, like come on. get up, wake up, wake up, woke her up. And then they did the best they could to get her to him. And who knows, maybe even her just like trying to open the door was enough to Kinda. break whatever was mm-hmm. was happening in there. I don't know. But yeah, I remember that he was like, I was trying to yell for you. Like he was just telling the story, like, you know, not even like, you, you know, just like, oh, this is what happened to me. And my mom was like, wait a minute, like around what time? And then, mm-hmm. yeah. That's when it, the story's connected. <sighs> yeah, it's crazy. Oh, no, that's. That's some scary stuff. I think, like, I've never, like, I know, like, I've had dreams where, you know, you try to yell, you try to run, but, like, 
nothing ever to where you go in full panic mode like actually trying to call your mom or whoever to help you yeah but that is scary and i and i remember because like you know i still like i my room is still that room so it's like you know i see the lock and i kind of remember like you know and i typically don't have like my door locked sometimes i'll forget because i'll like change in my room and uh, like it doesn't like because doors like click when you push them like that door is just i think it's just been through so much shit that it doesn't even click like it yeah. just kind of like well this house is so old too yeah it doesn't click at all it just kind of like it's just the door like it just kind of like hits like the frame but mm-hmm. that's it it doesn't click or anything so it stays yeah. open like this much all the time yeah so when i change i lock it so it stay closed mm-hmm. and like i know like even at night like like, sometimes I'll, like, lock it, go about my business, like, end up, like, going to sleep. And then in the middle of the night, I'll remember and I get up and I unlock it. I'm like, nope. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just been embedded, like, to not. To unlock the door. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, huh? Because some people, it's like. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't even cross their mind. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. And here, you already have, like, don't lock the door. If you hear knocking, don't open. And that does not, oh, that's not because gosh. it's. Yeah. Dude. That's not because of strangers. Um. My mom had an experience where she was washing the dishes and, you know, like most kitchens do, they have like a, like a window, like, you know, right in front of you, like where you're washing dishes and you can look out the window. So it was late at night and um, she was washing dishes. And at that time, this house is old. So it had the, the like metal bars, the right? metal bars. Yeah, it had the metal bars on, on, on every window before it was a fire hazard. So mm-hmm. don't come at us, Siri, Siri, <laughs> city of Ontario. <laughs> Because before y'all stopped those airplane windows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anywho, his so, so she was washing dishes and then she saw like you know she just saw the hand like knock on the on the glass and so she just you know that <laughs> <laughs> uh, knock like knock on the on the door and we have neighbors right so we live in a duplex so she assumed that that was you know our neighbor knocking and she's like oh okay well let me just go open the door. So she opens, she goes to the front door and opens the door. And she's like, she calls her for her name. And she's like, oh, she probably went to the other door. And then she closes the door and she walks to the other door and she opens the door. And she's like, she calls for her name again. And she's like, and then that's when I hit her. She's like, and she just fucking slammed it. That's when like stuff started happening. No, it was, it had been happening already. I was supposed to be like, "Mm, I think we discovered something new. But, no, it had been happening. Yeah. But yeah. And I thought it was weird that she would tell that to us because I'm like, you know, at the time I didn't really like, not, like, not necessarily believe, but like, I didn't really think about like ghosts and stuff like outside, like trying to get in. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know, my mom was so freaked out that she was warning everybody. Like, she's you know, like, she's like, if you hear, like, look out the, like, that's why we have windows. That's why we have the little peephole. Mm-hmm. Like, you need to look. And if there's nobody there, do not open it. Yeah. Like, you know, if it's really someone, they're going to knock again and you're going to see them. Like, yeah. you know, like, don't. don't and on top of that, anything. she's like, oh, we've already been like, mm-hmm. you don't open the door. Even for people, you she's like, you don't open the door, you open the window and you ask them what they need. Mm-hmm. You know, that type of deal. But she was like, if you don't see anything, you do not open the door. And that's, I think my grandma like hit on that too. She's like, like, no, you're not supposed to open. She's like, mm-hmm. I had no idea. She's like, didn't even, like, I'm telling you, like, when that shit happens to you, you don't even think of, your mm-hmm. mind doesn't go there. You, you're you still thinking logically. Yeah, uh-huh. And then it goes into, like, oh, like, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't make, make sense. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I think even, like, now that you mentioned grandma, like, the stuff that they experience, like, in Mexico, I would assume, like, the, like, the stuff that my dad says, like, I assume how traumatizing that would be to where my grandma, like, you know, yeah. it's like, no, don't do it. Like, don't, because mm-hmm. like, it's yeah. like compared to what we're saying like you know their stuff it's like they have seen the devil himself like (laughs) oh stop and it's like you know that's like a whole different video honestly even just didn't like that yeah he said i can do it for so long (laughs) yeah no but that's pretty yeah yeah. that's for i mean but to us. keep it light, that's to yeah. keep it light. Like if we get a special guest, such lady. as my father, my brother, the grandma, <laughs> that shit will get deep. Yeah, and there's yeah. some stuff that's like you know they've said that I'm like, oh my gosh, oh. like I'd probably shut down like yeah. if I were in mm-hmm. that situation. And that's true. Yeah, yeah. But like I think it's so into that fight or flight kind of deal that it's like that's what keeps them going. But yeah. Alrighty, so you want to tour the ha- haunted house? 
Hit us up. 50 dollars. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 50 bucks a pop. You wanna spend the night? 300 I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you want, you can use code Lopez. <laughs> First 100 subscribers. <laughs> And if you get something spooky happen to you, that's a special gift from us to you. <laughs> you get charged, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's all that. Not all that we have, but. <gasps> oh, sorry. Well, I remembered when. Remember when I caught on video my door shutting? <gasps> oh, yeah. Here, give me my phone. I still have it, I think. When that shit slammed? Yeah, because. Oh, Speaking God. of videos. My brother I had filmed the ghost. Like, I, like, okay. I love, hate say, telling the story because we had actual proof of it. But <laughs> one of our cousins deleted the video. And every time I tell the story and they're like, all right, well, let me see the video. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, my cousin deleted it. They're like, yeah, that's what I thought. A bunch of bullshit, you know? Yeah. But you know what? I'm telling you, this shit doesn't just happen. You know, I think, I think something, some type of intervention might have happened that it, like, you know, that she just grabbed the camera and thought it was hers and deleted everything in it. Because it wasn't just that video she deleted. She deleted everything on the camera. But, um, but yeah, it was crazy. We were road tripping and uh, we were in the mountains in Utah. And my brother was just filming us in the car, just like, oh, hey, what's up? This, this and that. And then when he turned the camera to record the view, because, you know, we're driving, he's recording the view and it's a camcorder, you know giving away how old we are <laughs> so he's like filming and he's like he just goes like oh shit oh shit oh shit and then as soon as he's like done like moving the camera all the way across the road he like slams it shut and opens it back up and he's like oh fuck and then he like rewinds it but he ended up showing us the video and it's crazy like on one side you can see the guy like scratching down well, i mean i just say guy but like it it was literally the shape of a man like a white shape of a man and he's crouching down and as we're approaching it stands up and then it runs across the road it was fucking crazy i witnessed it with my own eyes like that video i remember like they got home so like because I, I didn't go with them because i was too young to tag along with them but yeah. i remember them like kind of rushing to the house and plugging it into like the tv or computer no, it was the TV because we had like the little three, the three yeah, colored yeah. cables. And I remember them playing it and everyone was so freaked out. And like, it's just like a freaking coinkadink that my cousin had the same camera and just so happened to delete it because it's like, and it does. Like, I wouldn't believe myself. Like, oh, uh, yeah, got like, deleted. oh, yeah, like, you oh, deleted cool. the video. Like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Or so else it would have been on YouTube. And we would have been famous already. already. <laughs> <laughs> Securing the bag already. <laughs> this is me in my room being conceited but like you can't really hear it because i'm playing music really loud but like i was just like sitting there recording and like my door was open and i remember checking to see whether like my window was open for it to slam anything and nothing was open so it was just like oh, yeah. and then you can kind of see me just like reacting to it but it was crazy because it was just like you know, I was just sitting there. My Like I said, my door never shuts because it doesn't click. So it was just like open and I was just like recording. And I was home alone at that time. I remember my, that, that's why I was blasting my music because nobody was home. And I was just like sitting there recording and then my door just goes like, boom, and, like like bounces back. And I, that's when I stopped recording and like that was it for the day. I was <laughs> like, that's it. Like, Done. I'm going to sleep. Like, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so now we're gonna stop the video and rewind to whatever Sandra heard or saw. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> See you guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs>